look at one of the most popular programs here on Poplar Island, the TERP program. Everybody, it's Christina again, and no, I'm not talking about the TERPs like the university. I'm talking about the Port of Baltimore TERP program, or the Terrapin Education and Research Partnership program. The TERP program is a partnership between the Maryland Department of Transportation, Maryland Port Administration, Ohio University, Maryland Environmental Service, the National Aquarium, Calvert County Public Schools CHESPAX program, the Environmental Literacy and Outdoor Education Office of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, and new to the team this year, the William S. Smith Center with Prince George's County Public Schools. These organizations work together to bring hands-on experiences to students all around the state of Maryland, while providing vital research information to the project researchers at Ohio University. I caught up with Dr. Willem Rosenberg from Ohio University to talk about what he and his student researchers are studying here on Poplar Island. Hello everyone, my name is Willem Rosenberg and I'm a professor of biological sciences at Ohio University. And my primary role out here is to monitor the diamondback terrapin population. Diamondback terrapins are estuarine turtles that occur on the east and gulf coast of the United States and they are unique in that they are the only smaller freshwater turtle that lives exclusively in salt marshes and brackish water. So our work out here on Poplar Island is to monitor the population, determine if the population is increasing or decreasing as a result of the expanding amount of habitat and also the um, active construction that's going on on the island. One of the things we've learned over the years is that the terrapin population here is affected very positively by the construction of Poplar Island. Since Poplar Island has over 350 acres of wetlands have been created, and those wetlands are relatively quickly populated by diamondback terrapins. Whereas when we first started working here, there were no wetlands, and one of the things we discovered was that there were relatively few and mostly very old terrapins uh, in the neighborhood of Poplar Island. Now we see a very robust population with very strong recruitment, lots of juveniles. And I've been at this since 2002. We've actually started to see our second generation and third generation of terrapins that we've been following. So we have lots of animals that we mark had the nests um, as hatchlings and have recaptured them as adults that are coming back to lay their own eggs uh, on Poplar Island. Thanks Willem. Since the program began, over 2,000 terrapins have been head started in over 650 classrooms throughout the state of Maryland, with over 400 of those being recaptured on Poplar Island, and those numbers grow every year. Now keep an eye out for future videos as we follow around Ohio University's turtle crew to see how these herpetologists, or scientists that study reptiles and amphibians, study the terrapins and their nests. Look forward to it.